So it's April 15th, and what are we doing out here, Allie? We are digging a trench for our earth pipes, which is natural AC. Woo, we need that, right? Yeah. get going on this earth pipe video we are actually still looking for someone with some experience and advice or anything like that we've read plenty into it uh, to where we know what we're doing but uh, first-hand experience is the best experience so if any of you out there have any experience with earth pipes or know anybody with some experience or have read a couple articles and have heard a few things and have looked into it yourself, uh, please remember to comment in the section below after the video. We're only about one or two days out of about 20 days probably worth of doing this thing. So uh, if uh, any experience could come in to play and help us cut that time down, it would be awesome. So uh, thanks in advance and enjoy. Check you later. So we're putting earth pipes in for our yurt, which gets very warm in the summer. Way too warm. It was very hot, especially when we went to bed. So, uh, hopefully this works. It's a lot of work. Darren's doing most of the work. Standing here at the moment. <laughs> but everybody's out working. We have a hundred foot section mapped off. Tyler, are you getting your workout in for the day? Nice. It's going all the way out to this last green pipe, if you can see it. Out into the woods. We'll keep you updated on the progress. So how does this earth pipe thing work? This earth pipe thing works by taking the natural cool of the earth and transferring that into the air that transfers through 100 foot long uh, I think we're gonna try to go with at least 10 inch diameter pipe and the warm air in the summertime will travel through the pipe under the ground where four feet down the earth remains a constant temperature of 55 degrees and the air then gets cooled as it travels through and hopefully it'll be 55 degrees by the time it hits the inside of the yurt compared to 100 degrees 55 should cool it down quite a bit at least to make it standable livable uh, so what we're doing is digging a trench 100 feet long four feet deep uh, approximately two feet wide maybe a little less just to give us some space to work out any huge rocks as you can see we've already dug a couple out of Allie's working on a giant one right now hopefully we can get that one out and then we lay the pipe And then at the other end of the pipe, there's also a filter screen. And we'll probably take one of our Ryobi fans and make some sort of tight fitting connection to the pipe to help draw the air through way better than on its own. So, uh, I'd say we're about a little over a tenth of the way there. Stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on the progress and definitely keep you updated on how it turns out. <laughs> 